Hello and welcome to the Atoll, your home for Waterworld fandom. On today's collecting video, we'll be taking a look at some rare and odd items that were distributed mostly to movie theaters as promotional swag when Waterworld made its premiere in American cinemas on July 28th of 1995. These novelties range from conventional promotional fare to bizarre and forgotten collectibles, so let's jump right in to this corner of my collection. First up, we have a promotional t-shirt with Waterworld emblazoned on the chest. The shirt itself is an extra large, which is a little baggy on my medium-sized frame. The shirt was manufactured by a company called Allsport, but I know that other shirts with the same logo were also printed on Hanes Heavyweight 5050 tees, and this discrepancy probably depended on supply chains depending on what part of the country your theater was located. I personally prefer my vintage All Sport Pro Weight because it is all cotton and I tend to sweat violently in any kind of polyester cloth. The Waterworld logo is fairly unique to this promotional t-shirt. It basically takes the triangular themed logo with its blazing sun background that is used on many other promotional materials and intellectual properties of Waterworld and squares it off, creating a rectangular rendition of this classic insignia. The lettering used is more of a copper plate style font, straying slightly from the in-movie title font that uses these handsome spiked W's. In the lower right corner of the logo is a small piece of text giving the copyright date of 1995, along with the initials UCS, standing of course for Universal City Studios. And I just wanted to take a moment here to also show a few variations of the promotional Waterworld t-shirt I have seen on the internet over the years. Here is a more minimalist take on the shirt logo with just the text which more closely resembles the film's opening titles. Here is a promotional tank top with white text and a red drop shadow and the movie's tagline on the back. Here is a promotional t-shirt that uses the more common triangular themed logo. Here is a very early promotional t-shirt created around the time that the film wrapped production. It sports an unused logo of the world covered in water along with King Kona Productions, the film company created specifically for the production of Waterworld. And finally, here is a very rare promotional t-shirt with a cool variation of the triangular logo on the front and then on the back, this truly glorious illustration of the trimaran bordered by a collage of Waterworld items like chits, smoker jet skis, spears, and the mariner's vest. This is an extremely sought after collectible within the community. But all in all, I am very happy with my own simpler relic of Waterworld's theatrical run. And it's interesting to know here that there's actually an entire community of people that collect and trade vintage movie promotional t-shirts online. And this is why you might find that these promotional t-shirts run a little bit more expensive than you might think as there is a high demand and a finite supply of these vintage wares. Moving on to our next item, let's have a look at this embroidered baseball cap. This all black cap has Waterworld stitched into the front using white lettering and a red drop shadow. The text seems to be more closely resembling that used in the title of the film. To the lower right corner of the logo is the copyright of 1995 and the initials UCS. Turning the hat around to take a look at the back side of the hat, we are welcomed with a pleasant surprise. Embroidered on the back above the plastic adjustable strap is a variation of Enola's tattoo that resembles a golden setting sun. This image was also used on many of the movie posters upon the film's release and then later on in the box art of the film's home releases. And it's very interesting to see this iconic image reproduced as a stitch emblem with the arrow, of course, pointing straight to dry land. On the inside of the hat is a tag that indicates that it was manufactured by a company called Moors in Bangladesh and that one size fits all. I believe this is quite a rare item as it is the only one I've ever seen show up on eBay and for that reason I preserved it as a mint collector's item. 
This also means that the hat is still quite unbroken in. Though with that said, I think the cap actually has a kind of vintage fresh appeal to it with a super flat brim and factory clean material. I would actually have to say I'm quite proud of my Waterworld promotional baseball cap. Next up, we have a completely bizarre and odd piece of Waterworld collecting. Let me introduce you to Waterworld's promotional Boda Bag. Just a little background on exactly what a Boda Bag is. Boda Bags are traditional Spanish liquid receptacles, usually created from goat leather and lined with goat bladders, used to carry any sort of liquid, but most typically wine. And that is exactly what my Waterworld promotional Boda Bag is good for. Though not made of goat gizzards, the Boda Bag is made of genuine leather with a plastic liner interior, and emblazoned on the front in black ink is a similar rectangular logo to the one found on the promotional t-shirt. Underneath the logo is the promising line, coming this summer. Obviously cluing us in to the fact that this was a promotional item for the film's July 1995 premiere. In small text under the logo is the copyright information, though this is actually worn off on my personal Waterworld Boda bag. The bag itself is a soft leather, bordered by a smoother dark leather on the sides. A red cord ties it all together and also delivers a strap to sling the Boda bag from your shoulder. The bag's screw top is dual capped one for filling the pouch, and the other for taking easy swigs. And on the back of this leather liquid pocket is a stamp that says, One Made in Spain. And doing a quick internet search, you'll find that this is a very common budget Boda bag that is still manufactured to this day and used for personalized promotions. And while the Boda bag might seem like a bizarre or odd way to promote the film Waterworld, I can see the thinking behind it. In Waterworld, there is a constant struggle for fresh water, known as Hydro, and this is one of the greatest commodities within the Atoll Society. And throughout the film, we see the purifying of urine to create Hydro, trading of dirt to obtain Hydro, and even the consequences of not having Hydro out in the open seas. And so I think it is actually really appropriate that a Boda bag, a receptacle for fresh hydro, would be used to promote this post-apocalyptic high seas adventure. And I think it goes without saying that the Waterworld promotional Boda bag is one of the most uncommon and special pieces in my entire Waterworld collection. Let's now move on to two more items here with these promotional Waterworld Usher pins. These are fairly large pins measuring approximately 3 inches by 2 inches. The first keeps it simple by sporting the rectangular version of the Waterworld logo similar to that of the t-shirt and Boda bag. Above the logo are the words Journey to a New World and below the words Summer 1995. The second pin uses a vertical orientation with the more common tagline, Beyond the Horizon lies the secret to a new beginning, which I think is the stronger of the two slogans. Below the tagline is the same setting sun version of Enola's tattoo that we saw embroidered on the back of the promotional baseball hat. I really enjoy the stripped down version of the tattoo design, and below that, there is the slimmer font version of the title of the film. On the flip side of these pins is a very nice textured backing and the metal pin fastener. Printed on the edge is the copyright and Universal Studios ink, written in full. I think both of these theatrical usher pins are very handsome, though they do not stray far away from the standard promotional fare at the time. Of the two, I think I prefer the one with Enola's tattoo superimposed on the setting sun. Though both pins seem a little too large for just casual wearing, in fact they kind of weigh down my entire t-shirt when I put them on. 
But regardless, I like these two pieces of physical memorabilia from a time in history where Waterworld played on cinema screens across the world. Lastly, we have this small but very unique piece of Waterworld theatrical promotional swag, Waterworld's memorabilia keychain. This plastic triangular keychain is of good size being about 2 inches on each side, and I believe the item itself is meant to be a replica of the in-universe currency used at the atoll, known as chits, and modeled into the coinage are some very mysterious images. Here we have something that looks like a whirlpool descending into a smaller triangle, and on the other side we have this very mysterious circle suspended among a pitted texture, perhaps a vision of Waterworld's endless oceans as seen from outer space. Now it needs to be mentioned that this keychain is actually one of a set of three and the other keychains in this series are of circle and square shape and have equally mysterious images imprinted onto them. I feel these images have deeper clues to the lore of the universe, and I will need to explore them further in a future video on the Great Deluge of Waterworld. Going back to the specific keychain I own, we can see that it has Waterworld embossed on both sides of the token with the more chunky copper plate font as well as the copyright information. At the top of the item is your standard keychain fastener. These promotional Usher keychains are quite rare these days and I have to say I'm very proud to own at least one in the series. I believe these are a must have for any Waterworld fan that can find these very scarce collectibles. Well, there you have it. That is a look at my Waterworld theatrical release promotional collection. Looking at the numbers, my collecting videos seem to be a little less popular than the deep dives. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. I certainly enjoy making these collecting videos and I have a few more planned with some truly unique items. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. We have a really awesome and growing community here, and I would love to have you join. And so with that, thanks, as always, for joining me at The Atoll.